he's made it deep into stage three at the World Championships, so no surprises. However, here's a young woman who has known a thing or two about finishing at the top of the World Championship podium, Corinne Capriati. She's done it twice, and yeah, no surprise. Absolutely, improving here on the lashes. Way. Yeah, wasting no time here. She's not just going for that completion. She's going for that top spot as Krin lines up for tire dash and moves through to drive his edge. Oh, no! Oh, no! Slipped on that fourth tire. That's a huge shot. Alex, a tough exit for Corin. No one would have been expecting that. That is absolutely devastating. Corin had such a strong run there coming into driver's edge. And just falls on the tire there. Oh. Alex, I think I'll leave you with this introduction once again. Corinne Capriati, the two time world champion. Seems like every year she is right up there at the top, even if she is not the world champion. This year, actually, a stunning exit on the last obstacle of stage one. Still managed to fully complete stage two in the strongest ninja division, where she ended up finishing fifth along with a podium in the dash skill. And that's an well, off year for Corinne, to be clear. <laughs> She's moving up to elites this season, I'm pretty sure, and I'm sure that thrills everybody in the elite female division that they have to compete against Corinne now. I'm sure that they are so excited. And look, she's got the track record. She is a fierce competitor, had a bit of an upset there in the initial round, but now coming into the course that truly matters, I'm sure that everyone is on the edge of their seats seeing what Corinne's gonna whip out here the number one ranked power ranking athlete in the team female division. Absolute coming out of Gravity Forge, coming out of Gravity Forge, we saw a Gravity Forge athlete, Nick Gordon, qualify in the team male division. We have another very strong Gravity Forge athlete, Jack Sanardos, coming up a little bit later tonight. Prin of course, now coming to coming into Skyhooks. And she Some also gets that pop. It. But he's able to get to that ring. Will she I go wonder for the if she's going to go for the dismount. I, th I think so. It, it seems That's to be lining up like she's going for the dismount. She is, and she's got oh, it. Plenty. Absolutely smashing through that, and now is going to be using her strength and experience on Kaleidoscope here. An obstacle that has taken out most ninjas so far. It looks like she's going for the muscled approach. Oh no, she's spinning it. And managed to get cliff that first cliff ledge. Only one other woman has beaten this obstacle. Corinne, though, making the jump, about to be the second. <laughs> Showing us why she is an incredible ninja and why she's worthy of being in the elite division as she comes into the back end of this course with the fastest time so far. Now coming onto boats. Okay, so they we do finally get, wins. get to see boats, Alex. <laughs> she's going right to the first one, presumably going from there to the second boat, which. Unless she's going for the dismount, she's kind of getting caught here. Not going just backwards. Line, what a long reach and spinning yeah, around for the dismount. Incredible. Great wherewithal. What a veteran move from Corinne. Time running. And now we are, we're on to the infamous Area 53. It's going to be hard to finish this obstacle in the short amount of time that we have here, but Corinne is going to see how far she can make it. With the drive of the trapeze, they do get a ring. He needs to get up to this vertical disc. Lights flashing inside 10 seconds, not able oh. to make the grab. And that is all she wrote for Corinne's run. That run remains to be seen if that's good enough to win the whole thing, but it puts her into first place. And with three athletes left, that guarantees her a spot in the Premier Series Finals. Absolutely. One thing we cannot deny about this run was the speed, the technique power that we saw all throughout and except for boats I, I believe it, it is an incredibly solid run that if no one else is able to make it to area 53 it could it could be the run of the day it definitely is a beatable run now and we have three very strong young ladies behind her absolutely and I, I think the three remaining competitors have all seen what's just happened they know what they've got to do to beat it and they're gonna be going for that first place finish they're not just going for top four I can assure you that Alex